All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to be doing a gear guide on should you give Meliodas, the new one, uh, Trader Meliodas, attack crit gear, attack defense gear, HP defense, HP crit damage. I'm going to be going through different scenarios because it genuinely, I've talked to another person in like a top tier guild, uh, Mr. Skiakis, um, and he's basically came down to the same point that I have, where if you're free to play, you're going to be using one set. If you're a whale, you can easily use another set. Um, because the meta is go first you win so what we've basically come up with is uh, if you're a whale you can easily get away with attack defense maybe even attack crit but since he's not really guaranteed to crit I kind of recommend attack defense and then also that way he's a bit tankier as well and by the way by the way when I mean whale I mean SI6 all of his uh, cosmetics all of his cosmetics max um, 6-6, six, six, just perfect rolls basically, because it's a Meliodas, if you're a whale, you're gonna have his gear basically built, um, I, I don't really care, to be honest, like, it's a Meli, you should realistically have one set, and you should have uh, two sets, like, come on, Meliodas is the main character, he's gonna get a bunch of new, uh, like, forms, just like the one, or Escanor in general, you should have two gear sets for him, those are the two I highly recommend. Like King, you, I still use HP defense on even the new King. I still use HP defense on the Lolly Merlin. I use the HP defense on Diane. You realistically only need one set for those other units, but these two, I kind of recommend using two sets. But I'm gonna be going through like why uh, the ultimate or like why having a whaled out team you can use attack defense and why if you're a free to play with not a lot of out not a lot of cc and you get out cc'd a lot why you should use hp defense or i guess hp crit but if it's a super free to play melee like mine i highly suggest hp defense because there are a lot of times when you just go in and you just get one turn because you go in and they go first you easily get out cc they're like 330 you're like 300,000 cc if even that and you just get absolutely mollywalled. Um, so I'm going to be showing you uh, his attack crit gear. Um, let's, let's just see the rank one. I guess we will be getting buffs though, which kind of sucks. But at just one one buff, uh, 102k. Um, I, I wish I could... Can I just reset? Like, oh, you can. Okay, cool, cool. I didn't know that. Um, and then rank two, so 102k. And we crit twice. That's literally like 50,000 extra damage. Uh, reset. And rank three would probably do 230, I feel like. 240, I was very, very close. Uh, and then I guess I'll just show off the ultimate, why not? Um, one six, def decrease the defense or all stats by 5%. And I'm gonna skip that. 118K, not bad, not bad. And so now I'm going to go into him with HP defense gear. It's not fully UR geared because um, I don't really care for melee with HP defense gear, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and also, I don't invest in this account. Hopefully, my good old friend uh, Ski is uh, very bored in Grand Cross on his account right now and would like to farm my account because um, I hate farming my JP. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But look at that. Okay, actually, what's the difference between HP defense gear and the attack crit gear? Extra 2,000 KCC, but, you know, this one is nowhere near as built as the attack crit one. But, you know... Uh, yeah, 13 roll, 13% rolls, like, if you easily 15% this, you're easily 60k CC, so, yeah, let's just, uh, go on in, in, and let's just test the gear, this is gonna be a very short video, but honestly, what else can you really do, like, I mean, I guess I could go over best teams as well, but honestly, I don't even know the best teams, this is basically just how you should gear him, and the reason I think, okay, so it's 102k, so yeah, like usually whenever you switch to like an HP defense set from an attack crit, it's literally like 20,000 damage less every single time. This was 150, this is 113, that was 40,000 damage less. Jesus, that was a massive difference, but I don't even know if we double critted. Um, let's see, it was 240 last time, 178, did we crit? I, I don't even remember if we double crit. Um, I mean, I guess without the crit damage bonus, like 168. I mean, that does make sense, you know, we're not maxed anything, and we're not getting Amphi stacks. Um, let's just see the ult, it was 113, that, so, I mean, you could make the plausible case of going at HP crit, but if you're a free-to-play, I highly, highly suggest going at uh, HP defense, because you want to go first. If you don't go first, you are going to get mollywopped. Like, the Keo Ignite team is still running rampant, you can run the Keo Ignite team with this Meliodas, um... Like, the king team can still destroy you if they go first. Like, yes, you'll be like, oh, well, I beat them because I went second. 
the, the king team still does a lot of unga bunga damage and if m everyone but melee dies because he has really good stats so you know he might not die but everyone else on your team could very easily die like most of them do then you're kind of out of luck um one team i found really well uh was the meliotis Escanor and uh, Kusak team. Another one that is probably going to be a very, very good team would be um, Meliodas, Kyo. Because I actually do have Kyo. He's level 1 though, so I'm going to have Ski max him out. I didn't even remember I had him, but I think I bought him from the selector ticket. Wherever he is, he's somewhere here, and I just can't see him because it's sorted really stupidly. I, I, I don't know where he went, but anyways, I have him. Uh, so him, Kyo. And then, like, maybe the one or Kusak or Zeldris, like, uh, Coin Shop Zeldris, because he has two single target skills. Um, it could be really good, and he has that really nice commandment. So if he moves a card, you know, he uh, takes away all debuffs, which could be very, very nice. And, uh, yeah, that's basically all I really wanted to go over. Like, I don't, I don't really know what else I could go over. Like, I, I guess I could test out HP Crit, but since they're in different slots, it wouldn't really work because my uh whoever made my attack crit set when they first started was an absolute dunce and put it at the top left and middle left like no they should have swapped these two around Th that's how you should build gear by the way guys if you don't know the main pieces in the top and bottom two and then the crit damage or hp or defense in the middle be an absolute like sane human being and do that because people are weird when they don't like when i first started i didn't do that either but yeah so Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please consider subscribing. Hit that like button. That will be greatly appreciated. I'll probably have another PvP video out later on, way later in the day. Um, because I do have to work earlier. Because uh, New Year, so we get done like five hours early. Um, I will be uh, streaming Meliodas with the uh, trying to clear the bird. Uh, stage 1 and 2. I'm not going to attempt Stage 3. I don't have a card set. My Matrona is not built. She has like literally no cosmetics. So, yeah, hopefully you guys can make it out. That will be absolutely amazing. And, yeah, hope you guys have an amazing day. Take care. Peace out. And catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.